Alex, one of the best things about this part of the job uh -huh. is you get to you get to take ordinary people and they get to put their lives in the hands of a soldier. And it gives them a sense of what it's like to be a soldier. It's one of the coolest things about the job. You get to share an Army experience with somebody. The Golden Knights! The Golden Knights are the U.S. Army's elite parachute team, some of the best demonstrators and competitors in parachuting in the world. Who better to jump out of a plane with if you're someone like me who's never skydived before? On Saturday, I went down to Joint Base McGuire Dix Lakehurst, where the Golden Knights were appearing in the base's massive air show. I met up with Staff Sergeant Rich Sloan, veteran of Iraq and Afghanistan with almost 4,000 jumps under his belt, wow. who I would be jumping in tandem with. Now, since I've never skydived before, I would be strapped to him. Rich's dad was a Navy SEAL corpsman who took him on his first jump, but Rich initially had his eyes set on a different path, competing in Taekwondo in the Summer Olympics. In 1999, I was going for the Olympic team trials. I got injured pretty, pretty good in my right foot, and at the time, being a 17 to 18 year old kid, I literally thought in college that my dreams were over. But Rich found a new passion in the Army, going airborne, getting on the parachute team, and his understanding personality is perfect for teaching first-timers like me that there are a couple things you've got to do. There are only sure. three things that I want you to remember in this entire brief. Sure. To arch, relax, and have fun. And you got to do them right when we go out of the plane together. Gonna mess up hair up, man. Sorry. After, of course, signing my life away to both the Army and the parachute company, I couldn't sue either of them if something went wrong. We headed out to the plane that would drop me over the target. Did you know that you don't have a parachute on? What? Well, I'll tell you what. We got a tandem instructor here. Okay. We can go with him. Oh, okay. After some team building champs. Out of the gold in the black, once a day, never go back. Crew, they go tonight. We boarded and we took off heading up to our jump altitude of 13,500 feet. How are you feeling? I feel fine, man. So we strapped in together, getting ready over the target, and then I encountered the door. Built a long way down, and standing there <laughs> truly for the first time, I thought, <laughs> don't want to do this. I got past it after a second. I committed to this thing, and this was something that I had to do. And so we're standing there, we wait for the count, and out we go. Now the first second of being out of the plane is a really disorienting experience. You lose your frame of reference, yeah. which at that point is the plane. It's almost like being in open ocean. You don't know where the horizon is. You see grays and blues going before your eyes. But after a moment, you reorient yourself. And it's a totally exhilarating feeling. And it's kind of like you're discovering the world for the first time and it's all yours. You own it. And then they pull the ripcord. Up you go. We made a couple circles of the airfield. I could start to see the buildings come into focus, the planes on the ground, and eventually the people before I slid in with a gigantic, idiotic grin on my face. You just jumped out of an airplane from 13,500 feet with the U.S. Army Gold Knights. How does that feel? Exhilarating. You know, I put my life in his hands. And obviously, that faith was rewarded. I learned that airplane door was like your life's goal. The scary part is committing when you know that it's now or never. And once you get past that, and when you've got a good guy like Rich at your side, you can really do anything. 